girl. Welcome to a brand new edition of Man Moves Monday. Now today we're going to tackle the topic, are gentlemen a dying breed? If you would have asked me this question, say seven to 10 years ago, I would have told you yes, absolutely, without a doubt, gentlemen are a dying breed. Yet, after I started my dating adventures, my whole world shifted and opened up to a new perspective on men that I had not imagined possible before. And guess what? I found gentlemen everywhere I went and it was amazingly uplifting to me and it also made for really great dating adventures. And the difference was me, without a doubt, absolutely me. So when I work with clients these days, one of the things that we work with is changing that mind, mindset and changing your perspective on men. And one of the ways that we do that is by at going out and asking lots of different men, married men, single men, you know, all kinds of men, what their perspective is on women. So we ask them, what do you like about women? The second question we ask them is, what don't you like about women? About women? And then the third question we ask is, which do you prefer if you had to choose? Good in bed or sense of humor? I am blown away, even though I hear it all the time, time and time again, about the incredible heart that men have and that the true level of gentlemen that still exists in this world today. Let me give you one example. One of my girls, and I'm going to go ahead and read it. She got this response from a man she was talking to online that she never even went out on a date with. And he said, when she asked him the question, I like a woman who knows what she wants but isn't afraid to let someone help her get it. It always drives me nuts when a woman says I don't need anyone's help and then pushes you away when you're just trying to be nice. I hate it when women expect you to know what they want without telling you. I can't remind, but I'm very honest and open person. And if you tell me something is bugging you, I will bend over backwards to fix it. What I want you to know, ladies, from, from what he said is that you would not believe the amount of men who feel exactly the same way. And I really want you to know that within you and within your perspective and your, your mindset, you have the ability to open up your dating world to having men treat you just that way and men that you're crazy about as well. One of the other things that I want you to know is that we so many times put um, guys in this box that say, oh, all they really care about is about sex. But over 90% of the men that answer the question, which do you prefer, good in bed or great sense of humor, said great sense of humor. Over 90%. No, no, there were some that said, ideally, both is great, but over 90%. So ladies, I'm really challenging you to take your thought process with men to the next level and really open up your perspective to men and to their hearts and to the true gentlemen that exist in them. And you do that by seeing the good in men. I often just say to my girls, the more good you see in men, the more good men you will find. If you change that perspective and mindset, you're going to start having more and more of what you want in your dating experience as well. Thank you, Lover Girl, for joining me today for this discussion of Are Gentlemen a Dying Breed? Now, do me a favor and underneath the video, I want you to tell me two things. The first thing I want you to tell me is who are the true gentlemen in your life? And number two, tell me what is the best thing a man has ever done for you. Be sure to join me next time for another edition of Man Moves Monday, where women go from feeling ignored to absolutely adored by creating the most amazing dating adventures. Bye.